Hi, I'm Joe, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about budgeting, and hopefully after watching this video, if you haven't already, you can make a personal budget and get a hold of your finances. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. If you're into personal finance and self-development, that kind of thing, I post every single Thursday for your guys' benefit. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Budgeting is when you can track and have a list of all the incomings and money you receive and all the outgoings and costs. This list can be renewed or tweaked every year, every month, every week. It really depends on personal preference. If you have seen my save money as a teenager video, then you know that budgeting is one of the best ways to save money and control your expenses. It's one of the most powerful things you can do to slash your expenditure. Slash it in half, mate. And it's the first step that everyone suggests that you do if you want to cut out the bad spending habits. Usually this list that is your budget is calculated every time you get paid, so that could be monthly or weekly. This is so you know how much money you have, how much money you're gonna invest, and how much money you're gonna spend for the upcoming month or week. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you how you might wanna split up your budget a bit later on in the video. Remember to smash that like button, it really helps me out a lot, and it's completely free, so why not? Why should you budget? Like I said, it's the most effective way to take control of your finances and discipline your spending and investing habits. Keeping track and planning ahead will make your money go further. You'll be able to push away so many temptations to waste money with more and more ease as your brain starts to adhere to its own discipline. This is why keeping track is just as important as planning ahead. It's helped it become a habit. Track it every day and write a little chart on a notebook and tick it every day if you haven't gone over your budget or you haven't bought anything that you weren't supposed to buy or you didn't plan to buy. Because planning ahead gives your brain a criteria. It gives it a name. And it's very well known that your brain works so much better when it's given a name. Once you have your criteria and you're you know, in some kind of streak, your brain won't want to disturb that pattern. Like that consistent pattern, your brain won't want to disturb it. So this leads to you sticking to it and getting used to spending less and less, which obviously means you'll be able to invest more and save more. The quintessential principle of having a budget is to make sure that you have enough money to pay for the important things and you don't run out of money for those important costs. Another main reason people budget is to structure their repayment of debt. Budgeting done early enough can actually prevent you from going into debt, but if you're already in debt, then budgeting can really help you pay it off quicker because it gives yourself a strict structure that you go by when repaying your debt. So how can you actually go about budgeting? The first thing I would do is not actually plan ahead, is to actually track your spending for a month, for a week, depends on what you want to do. But track every single penny that goes out your bank, every single bit of money that you spend for that whole entire time period. This will help you get a better understanding of how you're spending your money. And once you've done this, then split those costs into wants and needs. Doing this will allow you to distinguish where your money actually needs to go and it will allow you to calculate your budget with a clear plan. You can make a budget digitally or just old fashioned with a paper and pen, like in a notebook or something, maybe in your journal. And as I said, you can make this budget over whatever time period you want, a month, a week, a year, it doesn't really matter. It kind of depends on how often money actually comes into your bank account. The first thing you want to do is create a table with our weeks, months, years, whatever it is, on the x-axis and the category of costs and outgoings on the y-axis. But again, it's personal, pref personal preference. You can have as many or as little categories as you want to split your money into, but I'd say there are three essential categories that you, everyone needs when they plan a budget. And I think these are the most effective ways in cutting costs and saving money, especially if you're young and you're just starting out budgeting. The three being debt, investments, and bills. In that order, because you want to section off your repayment of debt first, because if you don't pay that repayment for that month or that year, then interest rates are gonna bite you in your ass. On your ass, no, in, that's a bit weird. So you have to make sure, if you have any, that you prioritize paying off your debts when calculating your budget. Then you've got investments. You need to get into the habit of investing early. You want to make sure you invest in something, whether that be yourself, the stock market, 
startups. It could be just selling things that you bought from a car boot sale. It doesn't matter. That's still investing. You want to invest your money and you need to include it in your budget. Okay, bills are important. Like, don't get me wrong. That's the number one thing for most people. But this is a good way to get into the habit of paying yourself first. And with budgeting, it gives you total control of where your money goes and it will help you to do this. However, at the end of the day, you have to pay your bills. Like, make sure you don't forget them and you don't just ignore them. Pay your bills. Obviously, having more sections will allow you to allocate your budget better. Splitting bills into different categories like mortgage, electric, gas, it helps to separate and be precise because you'll know exactly how much is going where. Having categories like food and drink, health and fitness, and maybe even gifts will certainly help as well. Use the data you collected from the previous month or week to distribute your budget and be strict on yourself. Don't give yourself too much leeway, leeway and because that's just easy. That's not really, there's no really point. There's no point if you just give yourself, you know, a massive leeway in every single category. You need to be strict and you need to cut it down to the basic essentials. You need to be on it with yourself. You need to be strict and disciplined with yourself. And then the thing is, you can do all the tracking, you can do all the planning and, you know, calculating but if you're not going to stick to the budget there is absolutely no point in doing all of that zero point nada complete waste of time so that's the most important thing is to actually stick to it it doesn't matter if your budget isn't as uh, intricate as i don't know anyone else's but even if it's just a simple two column two row list doesn't matter at least you're starting somewhere the most important thing is to stick to the budget not the layout not the presentation of how it looks on your computer who cares? Just stick to not spending your money, man. You put all your effort into, you know, making a budget look nice and having loads of different sections and, you know, watching this video so you know how to do it. You can't let yourself down by not doing it. An excellent thing about having a budget is if you're short on money or you need extra money and you know exactly how much to make and you can go about making that money in some creative manner. You can task your brain to come up with an idea to make money and if you really need that money your brain will definitely come up with at least one at least one at least one idea that will make you the money sometimes you just have to think having a budget is so effective and so important if you want to gain control of your finances and hopefully after watching this video i've inspired you to start budgeting you will have seen the benefits that i just told you and how easy it is to start one the main things that you need to start budgeting so that wraps it up, the what, why, and how questions relating to a personal budget. And I hope you got some useful information or some kind of value from this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And when you're down there, hit that subscribe button because without clicking the subscribe button, you can't physically press the bell notification button. And we all want to do that. So click that too. You want to do it so you don't miss any more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week in a bit.